Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 The Ringed City. As you can see behind me, we're right next to Midir and today I'm gonna try and attempt to kill said dragon over there. So as you can see, I made some adjustments to my armor, my setup and everything else. So I'm currently using the Dragon Slayer Spear, which is quite fitting, don't you think? I'm just gonna stand here a bit until Midir is ready to start fighting me because the first phase of this fight is trying to get him off the bridge and I think that's gonna be well very tough to start with oh here we go here we go here we go this might take a while okay Oh god. Oh! Hello? Ooh, shit balls. I'm just gonna hide here again. There it goes, there it goes. Um, um. Ah, there we go. Boom! Goodbye! But sadly, that's not it, of course. Because uh, we still have a ways to go. I think I can actually just go further. Because the way forward is actually somewhere familiar because uh, I kind of missed something else as well so I do need to be careful because there's this guy oh I do a lot less damage with this thing okay and then, that's where I came from, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go up again towards that statue of Gwyn with the pygmy. Yeah, this one. It seems like I missed something. Yeah, I am a complete blind person here. That's, that's great. Okay, I'm going up. There's a, uh, an area in the middle there that I need to check out in a second. Invaded by Dark Spirit Perry King. Harry King? Seriously? Oh god. I don't want to get invaded at this point. Oh, there he is. Um. Did he just try to leave? God damn it, where is this opening? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. That's what I need to check. An opening. There we go. Okay. So now we're underneath the statue of Gwyn. What the hell just happened? I think the invader is trying to get me. There we go, an ember. And I think... Oh, there we go. I can hit one of the statues. And now we have another ladder around here. So I hear the invader above me. Filionor spear ornament. So that's something we can use on the... the monument. Uh, Jesus Christ. This guy is uh, breaking a lot of stuff. There is... Jeez, Jesus mother... Is he just right above me? That is freaky as shit. Okay then. This makes this episode even more interesting. Than just me trying to kill a dragon. Where the hell is this even going? Jesus Christ. Where the hell am I now? Okay. Antiquated plain garb and violet wrapping. So that's Zuli's gear again. Ordinary garb from an ancient land of sorcery. The gold embellishments betray a faint residue of magic, but this clothing was never intended for battle. When a mission visited the ringed city long ago, one of its younger missionaries elected to stay behind. It was... Jesus! Jesus, come on. Okay, look. Lagging a bit. Yeah, just kill me already. I mean, you can... I'm out of your reach, bitch. So, back in that same room, let's get my souls. And apparently there's a hole in the wall here, so these is... Ooh, that's a nice sword. Not really sure whose sword that is. Might be Alva's. Impossible dragon ahead. Nope, okay. Friend required ahead. Good luck. Okay. So this might actually be the entryway to the dragon then. That might be a problem. Um... So I was checking out the armor set before we were brutally interrupted. When a mission visited the Ring City long ago, one of its younger missionaries elected to stay behind. It was he who became the last recorded spear of the church. Interesting, and then those purple... These arm wrappings, sewn with violet cloth and embroidered with gold thread, were intended for everyday use, yet they served well enough in many a battle, and wreathing the arms of one who would go on to embrace the sword. The sword that's on the... The altar here, probably. And then we have the other item we got. Here we go. The spears of the church watch over the princess's slumber, and this serves as proof of their fulfillment of their duty. The embellished gold cloth is woven with a crest of young grass. The princess's knights proudly displayed these precious favors, which were most often seen swaying from their identical ceremonial spears. So yeah, that's fitting. Now... What is... Oh my god. Holy shit balls. Um... Yeah. I think this is the boss fight. This looks... Cool. Oh god. Oh shit. Dark Eater me dear. Where is he going? Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Holy mother of Christ. Oh, that was something. Okay. Holy shit. Ow, ow, ow. Holy shit. Oh, okay. That was a single tail swipe. Holy shit. Okay then. Here we go again. This is so awesome. It's actually quite interesting music as well. Oh, he's waking up early. That's the laser beam. Ooh, that even hits me. Okay. Oh, gone again. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Since when does he aim that? Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it. Oh shit balls. Now what? What what what?
Allah Allah'ım. Oh shit, 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 shit. Chat, 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 I lost them. Jesus. Moving back, moving back, moving back. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. This is doable. Keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, I'm just poking him here. No, 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 you're not going anyway. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I am going anyway. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ooh. Damn it. Doom it. Fuck. That was freaking close. That was freaking close. Oh, fuck, fuck. Wow, one hit. Jesus. Okay, don't get too close to that. Oh shit. Haven't seen him do that. Oh fuck off. Fuck off, seriously. Jesus! Ooh, 
damn it. Bitch. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, I got this, I got this. Yes! Yes! Woo! Wow! Okay! That was actually a lot easier than Gale. Ooh. That was awesome. That was amazing. Spears of the Church and Soul of Dark Eater, Midir. I honestly felt that that was a lot easier than Gale himself. Because, yeah, I've been only... Well, I stopped last time after an hour and a half because I uh, felt like I was getting too worked up. But now I did it in 15 minutes, so... <laughs> okay, then. Um, so Dark Eater Midir, gone. And look at this arena, by the way. Look at this level. This is freaking awesome. 
the entire bottom is covered in corpses and he was summoning the souls of the dead when he entered his second phase but he didn't well he didn't do it in the in this last attempt which was really good because that's the anno most annoying attack to dodge because he attacks while the souls are attacking as well but uh, let's check out the items Midir, descendant of arch dragons, was raised by the gods and owing to his immortality was given a duty to eternally battle the dark, a duty that he would never forget even after the gods perished and he was of course responsible for uh, defending Filianor, but he was taken over by the abyss as did a lot of uh, people and there was something else we got Oh, we got a, a covenant item, Spears of the Church, a green rusted ornament of young grass, the crest of Princess Filianor. Equipped to join the Spears of the Church covenant. The Spears of the Church watch over the princess's slumber and when the church is compromised by a trespasser, the Judicator summons them as loyal spirits to eliminate the threat. Loyal spirits summoned as Spears of the Church are granted a blessing of protection. So that means if we follow this covenant, we can actually play as the boss battle in the church. So the boss battle I did rather quickly, so I'm assuming that wasn't another play. Because the, there wasn't really a lot of lag. So I think I did that against AI. Accidentally, because I didn't... my internet was on, so I don't know why I, I didn't get a player summoned in there. But that was uh, the covenant. Now, there's one more thing I'd like to do now that we killed Midir. Uh, there's still that item in the statue of Gwyn uh, upstairs that I want to check out if I can get it. So give me a second, I'm gonna light the bonfire. By the way, 300k, 300k souls, so uh, that's gonna be something nice. But now, I think if I travel back to the shared grave, I should be able to get to the item. This place feels empty without the dragon now, for some reason. I feel like, yeah, the dragon kind of made it feel alive. So there's a hole above the statue that I never, um, well, I never noticed that. So I think if I just use the elevator, it doesn't look like it's all that high, but the elevator doesn't really go very high. So yeah, I noticed that since I had to run through here quite a few times, that there's a hole in the floor. It's not over here, and that just opens up the shortcut, so that's not gonna be it. I think might have to roll through the midway point then. There we go, over here. And then is there another one that I can remove? I'm not sure where it is. So, oh, wait, I never checked the right side. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm a really big idiot. So, dropping down... Oh, no, no, no! Can I get the item from here? Yeah, okay. Examine. Glorenty ring plus three, so that is amazing. I'm gonna equip that immediately. So yeah, as for my equipment setup to defeat Medir, because I got a lot of uh, defense which helped out immensely. So the ring of steel protection plus three is one that I equipped, because that helped out immensely, even though I had a lot of... Uh, strong armor equipped there the ring of steel protection did actually the most because once i equipped that i could survive a few more uh, of his physical hits was which was really handy uh and otherwise yeah havel's ring and the ring of favor to be able to wear all of that and then the quarantine ring which is obvious so nothing spectacular uh, and then most of the Dragon Slayer uh, armor, so the Iron Dragon Slayer helm, Dragon Slayer armor, Ring Knight gauntlets, just because they look cool, and then the Iron Dragon Slayer leggings, and of course the uh, plus five Dragon Slayer spear, because uh, Midir is weak, as all dragons is weak to lightning, which helped out immensely to get him uh, out of the way, because he has a very large health bar, but um, yeah, with the lightning that actually went really good. Now the last thing I want to do is kill, well I said that a few times, there's two things I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the ring knight and give a spear ornament to the monument there and see what happens and there's another item over there. And then we're going to head back to fighting shrine and see what we can make with uh, Midir's soul. So I'm just going to switch back to the site and then we're going to defeat that guy again because otherwise he's going to be in our way. So let's offer up the spear ornament, yes. Covenant Allegiance deepened. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks for that. So now, let's head back to Firelink Shrine and check out what we can make with uh, Medir Soul, because that might be something very, very cool. Well, at least I hope so. I did go to a lot of trouble. Okay. 
to get uh, him down. So yeah, see you guys at Firelink Shrine. So, back at Firelink, let's see if Ludlet has anything to say for himself. And he wants to uh, make something very nice out of the freaking soul of a dragon! An abyss dragon! Begin transposition, here we go. Oh, that looks new. Old Moonlight. Conceive Old Moonlight Sword and attack. A memory of an old sword found deep within Midir. This sorcery uses souls to grant form to the Tolt and attack with it. Attacks are coupled with light waves and sustaining the stance before attacking increases their speed and potency. The sword is named after Moonlight but it is slightly different than the one fashioned of the Pale Drake Seath. Perhaps it is rooted in an older memory from not long after the beginning. Because yeah, Midir must have been uh, conceived pretty Passed after the uh, the usurpation of uh, Gwyn, well, the, when Gwyn and the, the other deities uh, defeated the ancient dragons, because yeah, Medea was an ascendant of the ancient dragons, so he was a dragon that was created by the gods probably, and uh, used as a guard dog. But I did create the Moonlight Sword, Great Sword, and that's one you can make with Osiris's soul. Interesting. Anything else? Must be a weapon of some... Ooh. The Frayed Blade, a dragon weapon symbolizing Dark Eater Midir. The once exquisite, exquisite blade is now stained black and frayed at the hilt. Without its sheet, it will soon crumble into nothing. Assume a holding stance in which a normal attack sends a shockwave along the earth and a strong attack commences a series of slashes. That sounds awesome. I do have an intelligence build. Ooh, but the scaling on this is amazing. And it does dark damage. Yup. I'm buying that. I want to check that out. Just gonna... Well, let's check it out over here. And equip that already. I'm gonna have to test that out somewhere else. Ooh, and it is under... Yeah, it is a katana. Holy shit. That doesn't look like it would do all that much damage, by the way. But So there we go. And then let's see, how can we upgrade this? It's probably Twinkling Titanite. I don't know if I have enough at the moment. Because I have been using a lot to get the Dragon Slayer Spear up to par. So Titanite scale, so that should work, I suppose. To A, to A, and then... S scaling at the end? No S scaling. That's sad. I have enough Titanite slab, so why not? And how much does it have now? 184 and 191, but it has a severe bleeding effect and dark damage, which is amazing. Jesus Christ. And it doesn't weigh all that much either. I'm just gonna go back to some place and try this out. Maybe even to the cleansing chapel where this all began. Might be a fitting end. There we go, back here. Ugh. Not, not such a happy place, of course, but let's try this out. So holding... So the sword is pretty much the same as a katana. Uh, and if I use normal attacks, it's a bit heavier than a katana, I feel. I can stab with it. But it's pretty much the same moveset. And then holding. And then... Holy shit, that does a lot. That's like four slashes in a blink of an eye. It does use FP, but... Shockwave doesn't go all that far, though. It is cool. Oh, and holding the stance is actually the same as blocking, so uh, your stamina doesn't come back. That is a very cool blade. But yeah, it's pretty much the last thing we're gonna get from this game, because yeah, right now... I did pretty much everything there is to do in this game. I didn't do all the endings, but uh, at the moment I'm currently streaming this uh, game on and off to uh, see you, well, let, show you my path to the Platinum Trophy, because I still don't have the Platinum Trophy for this game. It's also a bit sad that the DLC doesn't have trophies, although I do understand why uh, Miyazaki did this. Um, yeah, I would have liked to get a trophy for killing Midir, for example, but yeah, uh, no biggie there. 
But yeah, that's the end of Dark Souls for the main series that I'm going to make. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Couldn't have done it without you. If you did enjoy the series or this episode in general, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And well, thank you guys enormously for your support. And I hope to see you in the next series. Goodbye.